now we are going to learn about the topic sets and we will learn here the concept of universal set subset intersection union and venn diagram here you see an example given that epsilon equals to x such that x belongs to n 1 is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 10 this type of method is called set builder method and while learning set you must know the correct pronunciations this thing is called epsilon what does epsilon stand for epsilon stand for universal set universal set means what the total condition we are taking in consideration the whole data set is called universal set or epsilon the set of all values we are taking in accounts that is called universal set and in venn diagram an universal set is denoted by a rectangle and here we are pronouncing that x such that this is pronounced here as such that x such that x belongs to n this notation is pronounced as belongs to x belongs to n means x is a natural number and what is said here about x x lies between 1 and 10 inclusive that means if we write this set as a list it can be written as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 writing a set in this method is called a set builder method and this method of writing a set is called listing method or tabular method here another set is given a equal to 3 4 5 6 if we draw this set on the venn diagram it will be drawn as and another set here is b 4 6 b contains 4 and 6 a also contains 4 and 6 so b lies inside a this is b it contains 4 and 6 a contains 3 4 5 6 and the rest are contained outside the set a that means we can say 1 2 7 8 9 10 so we will start with these informations and explain more here the set b lies within a this type of case is called a subset we pronounce it as b is a subset of a that means the members of the set b all are present as the members of set a each member of any set is called an element 6 is an element 4 is an element 3 is an element 5 is an element now look for another set complement of a set a it is called a prime complement of set is pronounced as a prime it means epsilon minus a if we remove all the members of a from the universal set we get the complement of that set that means what does epsilon contain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 from this we will subtract the elements of a 3 4 5 6 so what the remain will stay here 3 will be removed 4 will be removed 5 will be removed 6 will be removed so what are the remaining 1 2 7 8 9 10 this set whose members does not match with the members of a is called complement of a or a complement or a prime these elements resides outside a if we declare a set but write no element inside this this set is called null set and null set is represented by phi 
now declare another set d equal to 5 9 10 if we draw this set in this diagram how would it look like it will look like this this set is d it contains 5 9 and 10 now we will learn about union of sets and intersection of sets now if you are asked that what is a intersection b the pronouns of this is intersection that means the common portion which elements are common for both a and b they are 4 and 6 so a intersection b will be 4 6 which will be equal to b now what is a intersection d see carefully here only the 5 is common so the intersection of a and d gives us a set which contain only one element 5 and in venn diagram this is represented by this region the common region that is called the intersection now what is b intersection d you can clearly see that there is no common in between b and d so there is no element present here so the set b intersection d is a null set what is a null set which contains no elements so we have learned already about complement we have learned about intersection and now we will learn about union a union d this notation is a union notation this will unite these two sets so each element present here will be written 3 4 5 6 9 10 and remember that we won't repeat any element we will write each element once so which region in venn diagram this set represents it represents this area the complete area of a and d combined this area is represented by a union d